Now we will study mole fraction. What is the definition of mole fraction? It is a ratio of moles of solute or solvent. Ratio of moles of solute or solvent to total moles of solution. Say we have any binary solution. in which moles of solute are Na and Nb are the moles of solvent then we can write mole fraction mole fraction of solute is equal to whole fraction of solute is equal to Na divided by Na plus Nb means moles of solute divided by total moles of solution same way mole fraction of solvent is equal to Nb divided by Na plus Nb means moles of solvent divided by total moles of solution. Now another thing we have to remember is total mole fraction is always 1. Xa plus Xb is equal to 1. Total mole fraction is always 1. Now in solution if there are Xa xb and xc means mole fraction of xa xb and xb xc is equal to 1 means we can say mole fraction of xa xb and xc is equal to 1 according to the rule if xa is equal to 0 0.5 mole fraction of a is equal to 0 0.5 mole fraction of b is 0 0.3 then using this formula we can find out the mole fraction of C is 1 minus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.8. So mole fraction of C will be 0 0.2. It means we can say that total mole fraction always remains 1. If it is binary solution then also mole fraction total will remain 1. Now we will solve some numericals based on mole fraction. In this question, 3 molar aqueous NaOH solution is given. We have to find mole fraction of NaOH and mole fraction of H2. First we will find moles of NaOH. As it is given 3 molar solution, we can say mole of NaOH is equal to 3. And to find out moles of water, that is solvent. We can find out from 3 molar, 3 mole per kilogram, kilogram that is 1000 gram divided by 18 gram that is the molar mass of water, we will get 55.55 moles of water. Now, mole fraction of NaOH mole fraction of NOH solute is equal to moles of NOH upon total moles in solution. Therefore, moles of NOH, 3 moles divided by 3 plus 55.55 on solving this we will get 0.05 mole 
that is mole fraction of solute is 0 0.05 same way mole fraction of water solvent is equal to moles of water 55.55 divided by 3 plus 55.55 so we will get 55.55 upon 58.55 so answer will be approximately 0 0.95 Now in the next question, mole fraction of solute in one molar aqueous solution is what? Moles of solute in one molar solution is one mole and Moles of solvent, moles of solvent is equal to thousand gram of water. One kilogram is converted to gram. Thousand gram divided by eighteen gram of water means we get approximately fifty five point five five mole. Now, moles fraction of solute. Mole fraction of solute is equal to moles of solute divided by total moles in solution. So we will get one divided by. 56.55 55.55 mole of water and 1 mole of solute on solving this we will get approximately 0 0.177 the next question 180 gram water and 4 gram NaOH are present in the solution find mole fraction of NaOH and H2 so first we will find mole of water 180 gram given divided by 18 gram is the molar mass of water so from this calculation we will get 10 moles mole of water is 10 same way mole of NaOH is equal to given gram 4 divided by its molar mass 40 so we will get 0 0.1 mole 0 0.1 mole now mole fraction of water mole fraction of water 10 moles divided by 10 plus 0 0.1 that is 10 divided by 10.1 moles on calculation we will get 0 0.9901 mole fraction of water same way mole fraction of NaOH is equal to mole fraction of NaOH is equal to moles of NaOH 0 0.1 divided by 10.1 that is total moles in the solution on calculation we will get 0 0.0099 and we can also say that total mole fraction of solute and solvent will always be equal to 1 0 0.9901 plus 0 0.0099 now in another question calculate mole fraction of ethanol and water in a sample of rectified spirit that contains 95% ethanol by weight.
So gram of ethanol present is 95 gram and 5 gram of water. So moles of ethanol 95 gram divided by its molar mass 46 gram moles of ethanol same way moles of water is equal to 5 gram of water divided by its molar mass 18. Now mole fraction of ethanol mole fraction of ethanol is equal to moles of ethanol 95 upon 46 divided by 95 upon 46 plus 5 by 18 that is the moles of ethanol and moles of water on simplification on simplification we will get the answer 0.88 mole fraction of ethanol will be 0 0.88 and mole fraction of water is equal to total mole fraction is 1 therefore 1 minus 0 0.88 we will get 0 0.12 0 0.12 so mole fraction of water will be 0 0.12 now another term related to concentration is normality. It is denoted as capital N and we can define normality as gram equivalent gram equivalent of solute divided by volume of solution in liter we get normality so simply we can write normality is equal to gram of solute divided by volume in liter into equivalent mass or weight or simply we can write normality is equal to G by L into equivalent weight but if solutions are mixed means for mixing of solution mixing of solution we can utilize the formula n1 v1 plus n2 v2 is equal to n in the bracket v1 plus v2 it means normality of the solution say n is equal to n1 v1 plus n2 v2 upon v1 plus v2 now in the definition of normality equivalent weight comes so we can say normality depends on depends upon nature of reaction Normality depends upon nature of reaction that is equivalent mass but molarity does not depend upon nature of reaction. Now we will study 
numericals based on normality. In this question, how many gram equivalent weight of H2SO4 are present in 200 ml 0.1 normal H2SO4 solution? It means we have to find out gram equivalence of H2SO4. According to the definition of normality, normality is equal to gram equivalence of solute divided by volume of solution in liter. Volume of solution in liter. Therefore, as normality is already given 0 0.1 into volume of solution that is given 200 ml so convert 200 ml divided by 1000 we will get volume of solution in liter so finally gram equivalent of solute we will get on solving this so we can say gram equivalent of solute by solution of this, we will get 0 0.02. Now in the next question, 100 ml of 0 0.1 normal HCl is mixed with 100 ml 0.5 normal sulfuric acid H2SO4 solution. Find normality of resulting mixture. When we have to find normality of resulting mixture when two different solutions are mixed, we can apply the formula N1V1 plus N2V2 is equal to N that is the normality of resulting solution into V1 plus V2. Therefore, keeping all the values N1 0.1 into 100 plus 0 0.5 into 100. Divided by V1 plus V2, 100 ml, 100 ml, it is 200 ml, is equal to the normality of resulting mixture. On solution, we will get normality of resulting mixture is equal to, on solving this, we will get 0.3 normal. In the next question, 200 ml of 0.1 normal H2SO4 is mixed with 300 ml 0.01 normal NOH. Calculate normality of resulting mixture. First, we will find out the total volume of resulting mixture. Is equal to 200 ml plus 300 ml that is 500 ml volume of resulting mixture is 500 ml now n into 500 that is normality of resulting mixture into volume 500 is equal to moles of equivalent of H2SO4 200 into 0 0.1 minus 300 into 0 0.01 on simplification of this subtraction we will get 70 finally normality of the resulting mixture will come out to be 70 upon 500 that is 0 0.034 normal so we can say the normality of resulting mixture is 0 0.034 normal. Now in the next question, the normality of 4% mass upon volume NaOH is what? So normality is equal to gram of solute divided by 
वॉल्यूम ऑफ सॉल्यूशन इन लीटर इन टू इक्वेलेंट मास कीपिंग ऑल द वैल्यूज ग्राम ऑफ सोल्यू फोर ग्राम वॉल्यूम ऑफ सोल्यूशन परसेंट मास बाय वॉल्यूम मीन्स वी कैन से हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय थाउजेंड टू कन्वर्ट एम एल टू लीटर वी विल गेट हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय थाउजेंड इन टू एनओएच मोलर मास ऑफ एनओएच इज फोर्टी सो वी विल गेट फोर इन टू थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाय हंड्रेड इन टू फोर्टी on simplification we will get one normal in the next question if 250 ml of a solution contains 2.7 g h3po4 phosphoric acid the normality of solution is what molecular weight of h3po4 is 98 g or 98 unified mass so first of all according to the formula of normality normality is equal to gram per liter into equivalent weight of solute that is h3po4 so, gram 2.7 gram of h3po4 is given liter 250 ml divided by 1000 so it is converted into liter now equivalent weight of h3po4 In H three PO four, replaceable H plus R three, replaceable H plus is equal to three. Therefore, equivalent weight of H three PO four is equal to ninety eight divided by three. Ninety divided by three. On simplification, we will get normality to be zero point three three normal. Zero point three three normal. Now in the next question, calculate the number of oxalic acid molecules in hundred mL zero point zero two normal oxalic acid solution. Again, definition of normality. we can write in the formula way gram equivalent of solute divided by volume of solution in liter volume of solution in liter so when we multiply normality and volume of solution in liter we will get gram equivalent of solute so gram equivalent of solute is equal to normality 0.02 into volume of the solution it is 100 ml given so 100 divided by 1000 on simplification we will get 0.002 so gram equivalent of solute is 0.002 now from this we will get mole is equal to 0.001 that is 10 raised to minus 3 mole but here it is asked to you as molecules therefore number of molecules is equal to 10 raised to minus 3 Mole that is Avogadro number six point zero two two into ten is to twenty three. So we can say number of molecules of oxalic acid is equal to six point zero two two into ten is to twenty. So number of molecules is equal to six point zero two two into ten is to twenty. In the sum, hundred mL zero point five normal NaOH. 100 ml N by 5 HCl and 100 ml N by 10 H2SO4 are mixed. What is the nature of the resulting solution? First, we will find gram equivalent of all the three solutions. So, for first solution, 100 ml 0.5 normal NaOH, 
gram equivalent of NaOH is equal to 100 ml divided by 1000. So volume is in liter into 0.5. So we will get gram equivalent to be 0.05. Gram equivalent of N by 5 HCl 100 ml is equal to 1 upon 5 in 200 by 1000 volume in liter we will get gram equivalent 0 0.02 same way gram equivalent of n by 10 100 ml h2so4 solution is equal to 1 upon 10 in 200 by 1000 we will get 0 0.01. So gram equivalent of hydrochloric acid and gram equivalent of H2SO4 are 0 0.02 plus 0 0.01 means gram equivalent of both acid is equal to 0 0.02 plus 0 0.01 that is 0 0.03. But as we can see that the gram equivalent of NaOH basic solution is more than this total. So we can say solution is basic in nature. So we can say the nature of the resulting solution will be basic. Now in the next question, the volume of M by 20 HCl needed to neutralize 20 ml M by 10 NOH solution is what? As we know M1 V1 is equal to M2 V2 for the neutralization process between acid and base. M by 20 HCl volume is asked. So 1 upon 20 into V1 is equal to M2 molarity 1 upon 10 into volume is given 20 on solving this we will get V1 is equal to 40 ml so we can say the volume of M by 20 HCl needed is volume of M by 20 40 ml. In the next sum, 250 ml of a solution contains 24.5 gram H2SO4 sulfuric acid. The molarity and normality is what? So first find out molarity. Molarity is equal to molarity capital M is equal to gram per liter into molecular mass so gram of solute 24.5 and 250 ml is given means 250 divided by 1000 so it is converted into liter into molar mass of H2SO4 is 98 gram per mole on solving this we will get molarity to be 1 molar or simply we can say 1 m. Now normality, normality is equal to basicity into molarity therefore normality is equal to basicity of H2SO4 is number of replaceable hydrogen so here in h2so4 number of replaceable h plus r2 h2 that is why 2 so basicity is 2 and molarity is 1 so we can say normality of the solution is 2 normal in the next question 
0.63 ग्राम ऑक्सेलिक एसिड H2C2O4 2H2O मोलर मास ऑफ ऑक्सेलिक एसिड इज 126 ग्राम पर मोल इज डिसॉल्व इन 250 ml सॉल्यूशन कैलकुलेट मोलारिटी एंड नॉर्मलिटी सो मोलारिटी इज इक्वल टू मोलारिटी ग्राम पर लीटर इनटू मोलेक्युलर वेट इज इक्वल टू ग्राम 0.63 लीटर 250 एमएल डिवाइडेड बाय 1000 सो इट इज कन्वर्टेड इनटू लीटर इनटू मोलर मास ऑफ ऑक्सेलिक एसिड 126 ऑन सॉल्विंग दिस मोलारिटी कम्स आउट टू बी 0.02 मोलर now again, normality is equal to basicity into molarity. Basicity into molarity because oxalic acid is acid and that is why we have to take basicity. Here again, in H2C2O4, when we look at the formula, it is CWH, CWH to H2 means this hydrogen and this hydrogen both are replaceable and that is why we can say 126 will be divided by 2 so basicity is 2 into molarity 0 0.02 therefore normality is equal to 0 0.04 normality is 0 0.04 in the next question an aqueous solution of a dibasic acid Molecular weight 118 containing 35.4 gram of acid per liter and it has density 1.0077 gram per ml. Express the concentration of the solution in as many ways as we can. So first of all, molarity. Molarity M is equal to gram of solute upon liter into molecular weight as gram of solute is given 35.4 35.4 per liter is given therefore 35 gram 35.4 gram per liter divided by molecular weight 118 on solving this, we will get molarity 0 0.3. Approximate answer is 0 0.3. Now, second, normality. Normality N is equal to basicity into molarity. As here it is given dibasic acid, so basicity is 2 into molarity, molarity 0 0.3 so we will get normality to be 0 0.6 normal now third molality molality is equal to 1000 into molarity divided by 1000 into density minus molarity into molar mass 1000 into 0 0.3 that is the molarity obtained divided by 1000 into density 1.0077 minus m molarity 0 0.3 into molar mass is given 118 on solving this we will get approximately 0 0.31 so molarity of the solution will be 0 0.31 molar another thing that we can find out is mole fraction mole fraction so mole fraction first of solute is equal to moles of solute upon 
total moles means moles of solute plus moles of solvent. So moles of solute 35.4 gram divided by 118 and 35.4 divided by 118 plus we can find the moles of water that is solvent on this simplification we will get the mole fraction of solute and also From this calculation, we will get the mole fraction of solute. And when mole fraction of solute is subtracted from 1, we will get mole fraction of solvent. So, mole fraction of solvent is equal to 1 minus mole fraction of solute that we will get from this answer. So, we can say, we can find out molarity, normality, molality and mole fraction. The density of a 3 molar Na2H2O3 is 1.25 gram per ml. Calculate percentage by weight of Na2H2O3, mole fraction of Na2H2O3 and molality of Na plus and H2O3 to minus ions. Provided molecular mass of Na2H2O3 is 158 gram. If it is not provided and if the atomic masses of sodium, sulfur and oxygen are provided, then we can find out the molecular mass of sodium thiosulfate just by 2 into Na plus 2 times the atomic mass of sulfur plus 3 times the atomic mass of oxygen. We will get 158 gram. So total mass. of Na2H2O3 is equal to 3 into 158 gram is equal to 474 gram. Now, mass of solution is equal to 1250 gram because density is given 1.25 gram per ml so we get mass of solution to be 1250 gram now percentage by weight percentage by weight of Na2H2O3 is equal to 474 divided by 1250 into 200. On solving this, we will get the percentage by weight of Na2H2O3. On solving this, we will get the answer. Now, mass of solvent, that is water, mass of solvent is equal to 1250 1, minus 474 gram. So from this calculation we will get 776 gram that is the mass of solvent. From this we will also get moles of solvent just dividing 776 upon 18 the molar mass of water we will get moles of solvent. Now, mole fraction of Na2H2O3 3 mole of Na2H2O3 divided by 3 plus moles of water that is 776 by 18 we will get 0.066 approximately.
approximate answer for mole fraction of Na2H2O3 is 0.066. Now, molality is equal to gram per kilogram into molecular weight. Already we have gram per molecular weight, 3 mole upon kilogram, 776 divided by 1000. On solving this, we will get 3.866. Molality of the solution comes out to be 3.866. Therefore, molality of molality of Na plus ion is equal to 2 into 3.866 because in Na2H2O3 we have 2 Na plus ion and 1 H2O3 2 minus ion. Therefore, molality of Na plus is multiplied by 2 into 3.866 and molality of H2O3 2 minus 1 into 3.866. From this, we will get the answer of molarity of Na plus and molarity of H2O3 2 minus ion. Calculate molarities and normalities of the following cases. In the first case, 100 ml 0.2 normal H2SO4 with 50 ml of 0.1 normal HCl. 100 ml 0.2 normal H2SO4 plus 50 ml 0.1 normal HCl solution. So when both the solutions are acidic, we can apply the formula N1V1 plus N2V2 is equal to N that is the normality of the mixing solution in the bracket V1 plus V2. Therefore, N1 V1 100 into 0 0.2 plus 50 into 0 0.1 divided by volume, total volume of the mixture will be 150. 150 is equal to the next normality. That is normality of the mixture when these two solutions are mixed. Therefore, normality is equal to 0 0.167 normal. On simplification, we will get normality to be 0 0.167 normal. Now, for molarity, 0 0.2 normal H2SO4 solution. Normality is equal to basicity into molarity. Normality is given 0 0.2. Basicity for H2SO4 is 2 because replaceable hydrogen are 2 that is why divided by 2 is equal to molarity. We will get molarity to be 0 0.1. Molarity of H2SO4 is equal to 0 0.1 and molarity of 50 ml 0 0.1 normal HCl will remain same. Molarity of 0 0.1 normal HCl is 0 0.1 because in HCl replaceable hydrogen is only 1. That is why molarity is equal to 0 0.1. Now applying the formula M1V1 plus M2V2 is equal to M in the bracket total volume after mixing. Therefore, we will get 0 0.1 in 200 ml plus 0 0.1 in 50 ml divided by total volume 150. We will get the molarity of the mixture. Therefore, molarity is equal to 0 0.1. On solution, we will get molarity to be 0 0.1. Next sum, 
हंड्रेड एम एल जीरो पॉइंट वन मोलर एच टू एस ओ फोर विथ फिफ्टी एम एल ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट वन मोलर एन ओ एच हंड्रेड एम एल जीरो पॉइंट वन मोलर एच टू एस ओ फोर एंड फिफ्टी एम एल जीरो पॉइंट वन मोलर एन ओ एच सोल्यूशन एस नॉर्मालिटी इज इक्वल टू बेजिसिटी इंटू मोलारिटी बेसिसिटी ऑफ एच टू एस ओ फोर इज टू देर फोर बेसिसिटी टू इंटू मोलारिटी जीरो पॉइंट वन सो वी विल गेट नॉर्मालिटी ऑफ हंड्रेड एम एल जीरो पॉइंट वन मोलर एच टू एस ओ फोर इज जीरो पॉइंट टू नॉर्मल जीरो पॉइंट टू नॉर्मल एंड फिफ्टी एम एल ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट वन मोलर एन ओ एच नॉर्मालिटी ऑफ normality of this solution will remain as same as means 0.1 normal because in NaOH OH is present for one time only so we can say normality of this solution is 0.1 normal now applying the formula n into total volume of the solution 150 is equal to 100 ml 0.2 normal माइनस फिफ्टी इंटू जीरो पॉइंट वन वी विल गेट ट्वेंटी माइनस फाइव दैट इज फिफ्टी देर फोर नॉर्मालिटी ऑफ द सोल्यूशन आफ्टर मिक्सचर विल बी फिफ्टीन अपॉन वन फिफ्टी एंड दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट वन नॉर्मल जीरो पॉइंट वन नॉर्मल As the solution will remain acidic even after mixing, the normality has comes out to be zero point one normal. But molarity for finding molarity, we have to apply n is equal to B M because solution after mixture or after mixing will be acidic. and because of that we can say h2so4 will remain so we have to consider its basicity to be 2 normality 0.1 into molarity therefore molarity is equal to 0.1 divided by 2 we will get 0.05 molar so for the second question we can say molarity is equal to 0.05 molar and normality is equal to 0.1 normal now in the third case find the third question 50 ml 0.1 normal h2so4 with 100 ml of 0.1 normal noh so normality of this solution will be n into total volume will be 150 100 ml plus 50 ml is equal to 150 now 50 ml 0.1 normal H2SO4, but 100 ml of 0.1 normal NOH. So we will get 100 into 0.1 minus 50 into 0.1. It means we can say that after mixing, the solution will remain basic because of the presence of NOH. 10 minus 5. therefore normality is equal to 5 upon 150 that is 0.033 normality is equal to 0.033 as solution contains NaOH because of that if you want to find out molarity molarity is equal to normality upon as it is basic solution we can take acidity normality is equal to acidity into molarity because mixture is basic in nature because of the presence of more nh so acidity will be 
because OH is only one time replaceable. Therefore, molarity is equal to normality divided by acidity. As normality is 0.033, acidity is also 1. So, molarity will also come out to be 0.033. So, we can say that when 50 ml 0.1 normal H2SO4 mixed with 100 ml of 0.1 normal NOH, molarity and normality both will remain 0.033. In this first question, how many moles of NaCl is present in 250 ml of 0.5 molar NaCl solution? Zero point five molar solution is zero point five molar, and 250 ml is given. So from the formula of molarity, we can write gram per liter into molecular mass. Therefore, molarity is given 0.5. Molarity is given 0.5. How many moles is asked? Therefore, gram upon molecular weight. So, gram upon molecular weight is nothing but moles. And liters is given 250 ml. So, we have to convert 250 ml divided by 1000 so we will get the volume in liter on multiplication 0 0.5 into 250 divided by 1000 we will get the moles of H2SO4 moles of NaCl solution not of H2SO4 but of NaCl so we can say moles of NaCl is equal to 0 0.125 moles moles of NaCl is equal to 0 0.125 mole now in the second question in second question a 5 molar solution of sulfuric acid is it diluted from 1 liter to 100 liters the normality of the solution will be bought so first of all applying the formula M1V1 is equal to M2V2. M1V1 is equal to M2V2 because we have only a solution in which the first molarity is given 5 molar and it is diluted from 1 liter to 100 liter. That is why we have to apply only M1V1 is equal to M2V2. Therefore, first molarity 5 into 1 liter is equal to next molarity into 100 liter. From this, we will get M2 is equal to 5 divided by 100. That is 0 0.05. Now, compound given is H2SO4 and its basicity. Basicity of H2SO4 is 2 replaceable hydrogen present in sulfuric acid is 2. So now we can find out normality is equal to basicity into molarity. Basicity 2 into 0 0.05. On simplification, we will get normality to be 0 0.1 normal. 0 0.1 normal. Now in the third question, Hundred ML one normal H two SO four. Hundred ML one normal H two SO four solution is given, which is mixed with hundred ML one normal one molar NaOH solution. Hundred ML one normal H two SO four solution is mixed with 100 ml 1 molar NaOH solution. So first we will find out the normality of 100 ml 1 molar NaOH. It will remain same only. So we can say 100 ml 1 normal NaOH because in NaOH replaceable OH is only one. That is why 100 ml 1 normal NaOH we can say. So because of presence of one OH 
we can write 100 ml 1 molar NOH is only 100 ml 1 normal NOH. So we have two solutions 100 ml 1 normal H2SO4 and 100 ml 1 normal NOH. From this solution we can say that after mixing after mixing the pH value will remain 7 so we can say from the pH value 7 that the nature of the mixture after mixing the nature of mixture will be neutral because same equivalent of acid and same equivalent what of base we will get and in they will be utilized completely in the neutralization so we can say after mixing the nature of mixture will be neutral the next sum 80 gram NOH is dissolved in 50 500 ml solution find molarity and normality first of all molarity is equal to gram per liter into molecular weight gram is given 80 gram divided by liter 500 ml divided by 1000 into molecular mass of sodium hydroxide is 40. On cancellation we will get 4 molar. Answer for molarity will be 4. Same way we can find out normality as normality is equal to acidity into molarity. Because NaOH is base, we have to check the number of OH present in the formula. So it is only one. That is why we can say acidity of NaOH is only one. And molarity is 4 molar. Therefore, normality is also 4 normal. Molarity as well as normality. Both will remain 4. Now in the next question. Find normality and molarity of 15% W by V NaOH solution. 15% W by V NaOH means 15 gram is present in 100 ml. So molarity is equal to gram per liter into molecular weight. We will get 15 gram divided by 100 divided by 1000 because 100 ml should be converted to liter into molar mass of NOH is 40 therefore on simplification molarity comes out to be 3.75 molar now for normality acidity into molarity in NOH as I told that acidity will remain 1 therefore acidity 1 into molarity 3.75 normality of solution will also be 3.75 the next sum the molarity and mole fraction of 20% NOH is what so first we will find out molarity molarity small m is equal to gram per kilogram into molecular weight gram 20 percent NOH solution is given means we can say 20 gram of NOH and 80 gram of water so 80 divided by 1000 so that can be converted into kilogram and molar mass of NaOH is 40 so we will get 20 into 1000 divided by 80 into 40 on simplification we will get 6.25 so molality of this solution is 6.25 molar now we have to find out mole fraction mole fraction is equal to 6.25 molality is 6.25 so we can say 6.25 moles divided by 6.25 Plus moles of water 1000 divided by 18 that is 55.55. On simplification we will get 0 0.101 approximately.
Write the next question. Normality of 98% W by W H2SO4 having density 1.95 gram per ml would be what? First we will find out molarity. Whenever percentage weight by weight and density are given, then on application of this formula, 10 into density into percent W by W divided by molecular weight, we can find out the molarity. So 10 into density 1.95 into percent 98% W by W is given and molecular weight of H2SO4 is 98. On cancellation, we will get 19.5. So molarity of the solution comes out to be 19.5. Now normality. Normality is equal to basicity into molarity. Because H2SO4 is acid. So we have to take in consideration about basicity. Basicity of H2SO4 is 2 because replaceable hydrogens are 2 and that is why 2 into 19.5 that will be 39 normal. So normality of solution will be 39 normal.